Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So, today I have somewhat finally managed to get in and get some 323 recorded. We are just approaching Astor's clearing, and there seems to be a, a Taurus here, which we will check out. But yeah, it's been, um, it's been a difficult few days trying to get in enough for of a stable build to actually record any gameplay and to share my thoughts uh, and opinions, my experiences of 323. Uh, there's an, an angry sparrow here as well. These latest builds have been a lot more stable, but the previous builds to that have been very difficult to get any form of footage. Um, long enough, sort of be in the game long enough and consistent enough to actually get the uh, the video together. So it's kind of an on you know off the cuff chill out and chat about 323, my experience of it, uh, how it feels, how it plays, what's coming. This current build is the one that dropped today, being what are we on Wednesday? And they've disabled the replication layer. They've done a lot of optimizations and improvements to things like the Vulcan Renderer. Uh, you can see, I'll keep my uh, top right hand corner stats on so you can see what sort of frame rates I'm getting. Um, right, let's just get out and have a look. I have got myself one of the SRT tools. I don't have any ammunition for it, but hopefully I've got the one canister inside. Uh, da -da -da -da, this thing here. Hopefully we have one piece of ammunition in there that we can use. But the sun has just risen. So what we're going to do is just check out this area. In fact, what I want to do is find some Copians because they do live around here as well. Uh, and then we'll go to a distribution center and see what we can see what we can see there. But yeah, the the whole build has been very challenging. They did say they've released it somewhat earlier than they would usually want to. Uh, so getting it out of Evocati into Wave 1 earlier than they would normally want to with the, the build stability. So it is more like, or it has been more like playing an Evocati build than playing uh, a Wave 1 build. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything around here. Angry Sparrow's coming into land. But, beneath all of these issues, I can really see some great potential with 323. I am actually really enjoying playing 323 when it, you know, when it allows me to. The micro stuttering has gone, thankfully. They've done a lot of updates to that to, uh, to improve it, whatever the cause was, I don't know. Let's just scoot around here and see if we can see any copians. The performance has quite impressively improved for me in terms of frames, especially around landing zones. I do tend to get quite a lot more FPS than I would usually with using... In fact, let me just show you my graphical settings. So, at 2K, with Vulcan enabled, I've gone for quality, DLSS, um, very high, high medium which I would probably set to very high anyway photo mode which has changed from reference and then hyper screen space shadows and terrain tessellation uh, and I'm running a 3080 Nvidia 3080 and um, a 10900k with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and performance has certainly improved. And this is without even Vulcan's multi-threading going on. So hopefully I will see some more improvements there. Let's just keep scanning these forested areas just to see if we can find some copians. They usually do mark up where they are, but they haven't right yet. So I'm not sure if they're going to. But yeah, so I just wanted to talk about how I've found the build, what my thoughts are on it, and uh, whether I like it or dislike it. The th I think the biggest challenge has just... Oh, here we go. Has just been the crazy amount of changes to everything. So, FPS, flight being one of the biggest ones. And um, 
and the interactions. Just trying to get used to that. There is a, a, a new learning curve for everybody. It doesn't matter how long you've been playing Star Citizen for. Oh no, hang on, these might be mineables. No, no, they're copians. Uh, the, yeah, the um, the learning curve has now come back in again. We all have to learn from scratch, and it is difficult. It is trying to get used to the controls. I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to remember not to press certain buttons that will swap nav mode to SEM mode, and I've been sort of binding them as I go to make it feel a bit smoother. But bear in mind, when you do finally get to jump in, that learning curve is real, and it is frustrating, but you spend the time doing it, it will pay off. Let's just take a look at what we got here. Can I bring a weapon out? Why can't I bring a weapon out? I can bring my med pen up. Yeah, as always, tons of bugs with everything being new. Um, which does take a lot of time to get around. There's a lot of delay with the server, so you do something... And it just takes forever, like, constantly bringing your weapons back out, swapping things over. Like, there, you can see there's, there's a lot of delays there. It's caught up now, though. Let's just see. Drop item. Can I just put it on the floor and pick it up? We'll give that a second. Doesn't seem to want to. Oh, you can hear the copians growling. Well, we don't need a weapon. We won't be shooting them then. Let me see if I can get close and, and take a look at them. They're cool, but they do suffer from the same AI issues of, I suppose, mostly the server degradation. It's moving now. Shaking his head, wafting the flies away. But yeah, when you, when you sort of look past all these issues that are, are somewhat very common with early builds, Wave 1, Evocati builds, the potential of this build is very high. After I've gotten used to things like the flight mode and FPS, bear in mind I haven't done enough testing to really warrant whether I like the changes or not, or, you know, truly see um, the difference. So far I'm fine with them, but with the FPS, uh, that has become extremely smooth so much uh, easier to deal with. The gunplay is, is nice, it flows well. Oh boy, he spotted me. Oh! Oh no, he's coming! Oh boy! Okay, he scared me off, that's good. Whew! They seem to be working alright today. Usually they stand there doing nothing um, until you are literally face to face. But yeah, from, from built this last weekend, the patch was just unplayable, so I haven't been able to get any footage out. And then I tried playing the other night, and it was just... You would get so far into a mission, or with recording, and then you wouldn't... Oh, shh, he snuck up on me, clever girl. Fascinating things, though. The ladder on the vulture doesn't seem to work, which is a shame. Oh boy, where's he gone? It reminds me of oh, the dogs from Ghostbusters. They scared the life out of me when I was a kid. Okay, let's just... I don't want to... Oh, boy, he's in. Oh, no, I've trapped him in. Oh, dear. Hang on, we need to open that up again. Ooh, they're actually functioning today. I need to draw him away from there because I can't get in on the ladder side. Let me just try. But yeah, look at this. Before I'm getting 47 frames here, 47 planet side running around. I've I've not known anything like this in Star Citizen. So upscaling, I it appears to be, is the one that's doing this. I don't know how much Vulcan is doing right now, considering they haven't enabled multi-threading. So I think this is more to do with upscaling. But 50 frames, you know, planet side and Microtech. Can you come? Can you come out of the? Excuse me. Well, I don't suppose you would mind leaving. I can't even draw my uh, draw my fists up. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm in an armistice zone. It seems to be saying. 
with the we where weapons aren't available. I don't know if they've accidentally made somewhere like Astor's clearing uh, restricted, but it'll clearly just be a bug. Hopefully that'll be resolved. Uh, anyway, so in terms of flight, as I say, I'm still getting used to the controls. Hopefully this dog will come out soon. Or this copian. Still getting used to the, the key bindings, the changes. And they are changing it somewhat patch to patch as well. Uh, just refining it as, as they get gather feedback um, with the ability to hold press and tap press instead. Can you get out of my ship, please? Tell you what, we'll take him with. Oh, lights off. Open the door. Open the door. Climb up the ladder. He can come with us. We'll shut the door from, uh, from within. But yeah, I've not fully tested all of the flight mechanics and whatnot, but all ships do feel, or the, the ships that I've tried do feel very different in atmosphere. They fly so much, they feel more chunkier. They feel like they're actually um, being controlled, which is really nice. Oh yeah, but I'm still, still learning. Still trying to get to grips with it. As I say, there is a lot of changes. Can we even fire our ship weapons? Oh, hang on. Yeah. I can fire the ship weapons. Oh, the UI is something that's been very difficult right now. I think it has to do with upscaling. Let me just test this. No, you have to go here. Off. But look how much my frames... Oh, my lord. Oh, no. So the blurriness is to do with upscaling. The, um, the, the missing HUD, I have no idea what that's to do with. It's just flickering on and off. But I'm at 23 frames. Without upscaling. I turn it on. I go quality. And hopefully that'll come back. I don't want to lose those frames. Oh, it's not come back. Hang on. Oh, there we go. It's come back now. Just took a little while. Back up to 40. 40 frames. Mental. So, there's a herd of them there. Let me just shut the door at the back. There we are. He can stay, he can stay in the back of my ship. That isn't the intention. <laughs> uh, but he can come with. There's All these, I think, are Copians. Herds of Copian. Yeah, that's more of them. They are everywhere, especially around Astor's clearing. So you've got to be careful. Just hear these snorts in the back of my back of my ship. Um, the distribution centers, which I will try and head to now. Let's just try and find a, a local one. The map's nice. It needs a little bit more refinement. Still a bit fiddly. Maybe the, the speed at which you can move is, is a bit too fast. Kovalex Distribution Center. Let's go to that one. And route to it. And it tells you a bit about it. it tells you the amenities, which is really nice. Um, that's your quantum information, like the amount of fuel, how long it'll take you to get there. Right. Where is it? Now, am I in SEM mode? I can't, I can't see. I mean, uh, nav mode. No, I'm in SEM mode, so I need to hold it. Transition over. Now, where is the marker for it, though? Is it this red one here? How far is it? 600 kilometers. So let's start making our way out. Yeah, a lot of the changes, like how cruise control works. Yeah, if I was to turn up scaling off, that hood wouldn't be blurry anymore. Um, but things like cruise control, how that works. Oh, there's so much that's changed that I just implore you to spend a bit of time. You know, when you first jump in, obviously we have the excitement of just wanting to get in and see the new features and test the new experiences. But to start with, it is very much about rebinding learning how the controls work, learning how the interactions work. I still can't figure out whether I'm supposed to be holding F or just tapping F. I think there's a, a mixture between 
the old and the new, and some of them you need to tap, some of them you need to hold an F click, sorry, right click, uh, left click. So there's a, a big learning curve to it, but if you spend the time just playing, getting to grips with it, it'll, uh, it'll pass, and then you can start experiencing what is new and, and see what's nice. Uh, now with the creatures, they are, like I say, they, they can be a bit buggy. I've not seen a Maroc yet, only the Copians. They are everywhere. Hopefully we'll start to see them over time with their new behaviors. Start wandering, just aimlessly, not aimlessly, but doing, you know, more behaviors you would expect, like hunting and, and so forth. Although there's nothing for them to hunt outside of us and maybe the Maroc. But it is wonderful seeing the creatures. Definitely one of my favorite things is just watching them. Um, or shooting them, although that's a bit dull, because there's no, aside from taking the, um, the what to call it, their, their horns, which I haven't tried to sell or anything, and I don't think the mission for them even works that well. It wasn't counting up as I was killing them, so I do prefer just watching them for the time being. But so far, I am thoroughly enjoying, since we've gotten over this whole teething problem, I am thoroughly enjoying... 323. Three. Let's just get some beautiful footage here. Visually, it does look phenomenal. It really, really does. Especially the clouds now that they've changed the. Um, now that they've brought in the, uh, the, the new rendering for them. They look so nice. The sun rays, the ground fog, it is so amazing seeing just how much they've improved it already. And now that we have the frame rate to appreciate them, it's even nicer. Hopefully I'm allowed here. These distribution centers, they get a bit antsy if you go down to them. I'm, I think Kovalex might be alright. I could be wrong though. But Sakura Sun and Cryastro have said that I was trespassing. So we'll, if it, even if this is, you know trespassing I will try and land and give a little tour of them but I, I believe they do shoot at you and I think there's a bug right now I haven't tried it in this build um, but where you're not really aware that they're shooting at you you're just seeing your self status screen flashing red hopefully the sun's coming up as well oh there's a few ships here I've got a C1 and a star in it But we'll, uh, we'll do a quick little tour here. But yeah, the potential, like, even, obviously, we're still waiting on the cargo updates. We're waiting on the, the hangars uh, and the freight elevators, which I really hope they do make it in. Uh, it would be very disappointing if they don't. But for me personally, everything we have in 323, just improving the game, these centers, the changes that we've got. I'm, I'm loving it so far, and as much as it could be difficult, very difficult at times, playing these, uh, these things with all the bugs, seeing the actual potential of what's changing and how it's changing is, is really exciting to me. Something about these centers as well that I've noticed since visiting them is they have a lot of, I don't know, I suppose they're called, I would call them outbuildings. Maybe comm towers like this, or stations and other buildings further out, like over here. Which I assume are part of this center, and might be part of the maintenance missions that we have one day, where we need to go out and repair them. But look at these little random outposts here. What I would love to see, I was saying this on a stream, um... Today, no, not, not today, sorry, uh, the other day, on Monday, I think. But these locations would make great defend, sort of arachnid starship trooper style defend places. If they could make these locations and pull them in, well, just drag these into Arena Commander, they would be so cool. Look at this view, though. But yeah, having these places where 
I don't know, maybe waves of Copians attack and you have to try and defend them and survive because they do have turrets on the top. Oh my lord, this... The game is just looking so much nicer than what it used to. And that's saying something, because it's always looked phenomenal. Shame about the Ursa Rovers. I did try driving one of them the other day on a stream, and it was just bouncing all over this place. But could you imagine just defending a place like this with waves of Copians coming at you? If CIG are listening, please make this a game mode. Drag this location, even this small location, into Arena Commander. Have waves of Copians coming at us and let us fight them off like in Starship Troopers. Are we not on? It was on the other day. I swear there's a bug with um, with the armistice zones. Got a bit of a storm going on. But yeah, there's a lot of other outposts dotted around, so I do think when it comes to... Um, doing maintenance missions or maintenance missions if I can talk properly that's going to be one of the these are all going to be, there's tons of places around here where you can do these maintenance missions, there's just so many spots where they will apply let's pop this down here so this is one of the uh, landing pads where you will likely come to load and unload your cargo when uh, when those missions are in I'm hooked into the distribution centers oh let me just get my frame rate back on sorry I was taking a screenshot there we go. these do tend to take a lot of the uh, frames away but like what we saw when we first got the settlements in they will continue to optimize and improve them make them work better but look at this place look how big it is what's crazy to think and I'll, I'll try and show you the interior um, the, the interior space right now is sort of surface level and up eventually or maybe slightly down as well but eventually there will be elevators taking you really deep underground where you will be able to once you've earned enough reputation you can then gain access to and talking of reputation, where are the NPCs? Let's try and find one. Hmm, can't see them anywhere. But they, they seem to be wearing the Kovalex overalls, which, like, you know, like a uniform. And as we heard at CitizenCon, when we start earning reputation, we may unlock these uniforms for ourselves. Which, for me, is, t is kind of like a reward system of reputation and, and grinding. Cannot wait for. So we are at shipping and landing pads. We've got Zone 4, which is hangars, um, refinery, and security Zone 2, and then cargo Zone 1. This is going to be a freight elevator, by the way, but as we know, they're not functional just yet. Right, let me just do a quick little tour around here, and then we'll go inside. These sorts of locations just remind me of games like Resident Evil, Dino Crisis, was it Extermination? I think. These are like levels for a, a full game in itself. And I'm getting 37 frames. I just, I am gobsmacked with how the frame rate has increased. And obviously, you know, I would prefer to have 60 frames, of course. But compared to what it has been, this is night and day better. And hopefully a, a good sign of things to come. Well, obviously a good sign of things to come. When we start getting the uh, multi-threading enabled. Ah, here's here's a, an NPC. Look look at this Kovalex uniform. 
when we start earning reputation, we are going to be getting one of them, and I think it is beautiful. Thank you for modeling. <laughs> Just give me the side eye. Um, let's go inside. Show you what it's like. But there's so many missions here, and I, I cannot wait to just do my off-grid sort of gameplay where I'm coming along, helping players load and unload their their uh, their vehicles, doing the internal missions where you take some cargo from one area inside here to another area of the same distribution center. Pretty crazy. What do I press? I think that's just a delay. So you've got your security office there. Or around there, I think. these doors open but I've had a few firefights in these uh, when they've gone hostile and the gunplay itself as I say is far smoother with uh, switching weapons looting although there's still some bugs and delays to it the actual motion of it when it does work you can tell is so much smoother and just feels cleaner you know what's gonna happen these are explodable now, by the way, so if you shoot them, they will blow up. Slackers, get to work! I'm yet to see one of the cargo trolleys. Oh my god, this video is going to be huge. There's just so much to show off. 50 frames. Holy moly. Last time I was here, it was really stuttering and, and struggling. So they have certainly optimized them more. So we've got the storehouse there, and the inventory center that way. Let's just check out the storehouse while we're here. Something else that I found now available, only in here though, which is wonderful. Let me just show you. Are these ladders? I don't think you can climb the ladder yet, which is a shame. And they can be used offensively. I managed to take out a guard with one of these while I was streaming. leave that there but that's cool um, I don't know if these are functional these uh... yeah they're not but these are where the missions are gonna be where you need to grab these boxes unfortunately I don't have a tractor beam I don't have anything that works anyway except for a med pen let me just see if looting works because it hasn't been of late it keeps kicking you out but the quick loot screen is really nice Nah, still, still doing it. Unfortunately, where it, it just you go to loot and it kicks you out of it. Even when you try and do the traditional way. Yeah, if in doubt with an interaction, if you're not sure, if you if you're not getting the interaction you want, just hold down the F key, and then it'll give you that selection wheel. But unless if you don't hold it down, it won't give you it. If you just tap F. It'll do the action. Uh, and I have turned off the labels. Display input um, icon, which would just be an F. I didn't want it, so I got rid of it. But yeah, I don't want to show you all of this space because there is a lot to it. And obviously, you know, when you jump in for the first time, you will want to check it out for yourself. You can see the, the map up in the top corner is freaking out a little bit as I move my head around. 
that will likely need to be optimized. But so far, I am seeing great things with 323, performance-wise especially, stability seems to be up as well, but there's still a lot of issues which I'm hoping are just teething issues with it being a new build, some new tech. I feel like now, with Vulcan especially, we're going to start seeing a lot more stability and performance going forward. In fact, that's something they have stated is heavy focus for 323, is stability and performance. So we should see the game, the alpha, become far more playable, more enjoyable, less issues. There'll still be bugs, of course. There'll still be issues with servers and whatnot. Hopefully, the replication layer can help with that. It hasn't been of late, um, I will say. Trying, you know, checking out with the replication layer turned on. I haven't seen the server frame rate recovering as much as it used to. Um... We are getting a lot of less crashes now, though, but it does obviously recover from a crash, which is good uh, when they when they enable it. Yeah, still don't want to work. But yeah, I think overall, when everything has been sort of ironed out, the 323 experience is going to be night and day different to 3221. There is a lot of a big learning curve, so you've got to allow time for that. Um... But everything has changed, and it feels so much better when it works. The patches of late have been very difficult. On call area. Um, this is where I want to be. Yeah, the patches of late have been really difficult to get on with. But, thankfully, they've been getting better and better. This is the first time I've really been able to properly do what I need to do. Ah, so this is the canteen. This is where you'll probably find me in my Kovalex uniform. Waiting for jobs, waiting for players to come in and... Uh, and land and ask if they uh, want to hire my services. Oops, I didn't mean to sit. Okay, we'll sit. But yeah, hopefully it starts going through the waves soon. Um, there's still a lot to do. Still a lot to get sorted before it's in a more playable state. We are still awaiting hangars. We're still awaiting the cargo updates and freight elevators. Fingers crossed they don't get pushed. They may. Hopefully they don't. I, it wouldn't ruin it for me because there is plenty to get on with in 323. Uh, so, fingers crossed they do come in. It would be a big shame if they don't, but, you know, it is the nature of this kind of game. But with that said, I will be streaming later today if I get this out on time. So you can check out more of 323. I will certainly be playing more of it. What the hell is she doing? She's just dancing away. Is she bored? <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you start checking the clock too many times. Anyway, um, as I say, come and follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother if you would like to see more 323 gameplay. We will be checking out more of what it has to offer, trying to do missions and seeing what we can get up to. Testing the ships, testing the... Um, look, he's smiling at it now. Uh, testing the FPS mechanics and all sorts of stuff. I am loving it. Thankfully, it is getting more playable. Do hit subscribe if you enjoy my content. It is much appreciated. And hopefully soon, we can get back to doing some more off-grid stuff, but in 323. I'm hoping we can do that before it even goes to live. Uh, we just need stability. And I want to test this device on my back as well, just to make sure that we can sell RMC from this device, not just the, uh, the other um, multi-tool. Although I think they have changed the prices. We are still to figure that out. Uh, hit the like button if you don't mind. It does the channel a big favor. And tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for the support. It is truly appreciated, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.